All right, now we're getting ready to rumble. This is part three. We're looking at cognitive psychology. We are going to address the information processing model, and we're going to look at the first part of it, perception. Here is the information processing model. We will be referring to this. Here, information comes in through our sense memory. This would be like the keyboard again, using that computer analogy. From there, bits of that sensory data goes to short-term memory. We choose what to attend to. We choose what to bring to short-term memory. Short-term memory is short and small. And from there, we choose, if we wish, to store things in long-term memory. But let's look at sense memory, the first part of this. It is perception, or sometimes referred to as sensory registrar. The capacity of our sense memory. Uh, capacity is very large. We can sense a lot of stimuli, but the duration is very small, anywhere from one to three seconds. We are bombarded with millions of stimuli every day. We make choices. We would go crazy if we try to attend to all the stimuli. Uh, some young children, they need help here. They process too much stimuli. Stimuli are not only external, they are internal as well. You are tending to thoughts and emotions and memories and past experiences. All right. So we are bombarded. We have to make choices. Some children who have trouble learning in school is because they have too much stimuli. And I'll show you what we do for those in just a minute. The operational definition of perception is detecting stimuli. You sense it with your brain. It registers on your brain and you assign it meaning. Attention, defining this, is giving attention to a particular stimuli. And again, you can't give attention to everything or you would go crazy or crazy-er. Gestalt means sensing the pattern. Your brain naturally fills in the gaps. Sometimes we just perceive bits of data and our brain naturally fills it in so we understand. As an example of this, your brain filling in the pattern, you can see here either a cup or two people with their lips together. You can see here either a young lady, there's her nose there, and, her, and uh, a hat, or an old crone, there's her nose, eyes, eyes, smile, all right? Your brain is filling in the pattern. This is not complete, but your brain is filling in the pattern. It's top down, this gestalt process, sensing bits of data and assigning meaning to it. We do not know what this is, but we can sense it is the word work. Top-down processing, this makes sense within the context. So what? Sometimes, and you should always ask the so what questions, sometimes we have to help students attend, we have to tell them what to attend to. Can I have your attention up here, please? Everyone up here, or pay attention to this. This is important. We need to be multimodal to help with attention meaning presenting information or learning experiences related to sound, pictures, movements, imagination, and emotion. And as I said, sometimes we have to limit stimuli uh, by the use of study carols with some children. All right, this has been the first part of looking at the information processing model. We looked at sense memory right here. Next, we will be looking at short-term memory.